Happy homebrew Wednesday. Moon is coming. Moon's coming out on one side, sun's setting on the other. Uh, Thanks, guys. Kind of warm today. Warmed up to 40 uh, Fahrenheit. 40 something. About 41 when I left this afternoon mm -hmm. to come over. I uh, got a few things done in the brewery today. Uh, got a couple new things. What are you drinking, Dad? I have a creamy dark from uh, Liney's. A nice beer. And I'm drinking their uh, Snowdrift Vanilla Porter, which is uh, my first time having it. Not bad. Um, so just a quick short one here. We uh, got a bunch of stuff straightened out. Um, picked up some new stuff from the uh, brew shop. I'll shoot in a clip here of that. So I uh, went to the brew store yesterday. Uh, met up with a buddy of mine over there who's brewing. And uh, picked up a bunch of stuff. Focus. And uh, got a bunch of keg parts. And uh, got some more grains. So I picked up a 50 pound sack of the crisp uh, Maris Otter. Um, it's actually about 55 pounds, I think. It's 25 kgs. So that's cool. Um, another thing is we got 10 of these buckets. Uh, my dad's got a hookup. Elder P's got a hookup on these. <clears throat> he got these this week when I was out of town down in Houston. We got 10 of them. And um, they're still trying to work out whether or not they're just going to give them to us or uh, charge us for them. But these are really cool. There's a, they're about five gallons. Uh, so they're they're pretty good size. Uh, I think they're, they might just be under four, uh, five gallons, maybe closer to four. But they're great for our... Uh, we get them for, for grains. And uh, so we put our, our bulk grain in there. And they seal up nice. They have a, a nice lid. And it doesn't have a gasket or anything, but they are a um, nice snap top lid. They hold tight and they keep the rodents out and the bugs and moisture and stuff like that. So that's cool. Another thing I got is these guys. Um, these are basically 50 pound um, pet food containers. So they're food grade plastic. We're going to use them for fermenters. And they will hold 13 gallons. So. We're going to do some modification for airlock, blow off tube, and then we're going to ferment in these uh, so we'll be able to ferment our big batches. So that's going to be sweet. Uh, another thing I got is plate chiller. Uh, been wanting to get one of these to speed up our chilling process. Uh, it has been taking quite a while, even with our ice water and all that. So these are the, uh, this is the. Uh, do it a diesel uh, version. Got the one with the garden hose connections and then the half inch NPT. Um, so we're going to do a nice setup probably with quick connects for our brew stand and uh, yeah that should speed up our whole chilling process so it's going to be sweet. Uh, other than that got some yeast and a little bit of specialty grain. They had, they have a kind of a remnant uh, bucket. So when people buy partial, uh, partial pound increments, uh, they they just put you know basically uh, vacuum seal the seal up the bags and then put them in a bucket and say a dollar a pound your pick. So got a bunch of those. So that's cool. You're into secondary. We racked over the Drop Drop Kick Nate version three uh, into secondary. Dry hopped it. It's tasting good. Gravity's at uh, one point zero zero eight, which is uh, yeah pretty respectable. Not bad. Um, it's actually between six and eight. I would say maybe one oh seven one oh oh seven. So it's gonna be dry, but that's okay. That beer is designed that way. Uh, should finish at ten ten or just right around there. So that's okay. Uh, we'll still drink it <laughs> and grab a point of alcohol or so. So, what's new with you, Dad? Nothing. It's been quite an ordeal this last couple of weeks with the sub zero. Yeah, I had 17 below zero one day, and then a week later it was, God, what is it, 40? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. so it's nuts. It's been about a week. Or Roller so. coaster weather in yeah. Illinois here. Well, uh, 
I don't think I have a whole lot else going on other than the uh, stuff I just showed you on the vid on the footage. Yeah. Um, we're gonna get some more brewing going, and we got some cool stuff coming up. Yeah. In the next couple months, so. It's gonna be good. Stay tuned, folks. Cheers. Cheers, and have a Happy fantastic week. Wednesday. Oh, one extra thing here, Dad. Um, I've been meaning to do this, and I just wanted to say thanks to all the subscribers. Oh yeah. You guys uh, are keeping this thing going. Uh, thanks for ch tuning in and checking out the channel and. Oh, lost our light. And, uh, you know, subscribing, that's great. And uh, love the thumbs up and the comments. So what we're going to do is we're going to show you guys how to, uh, how well, what our process is in breaking down the, uh, the uh, bulk container of uh, grains and putting it into our storage bin. So I'll show you a little bit of footage of that. Elder P. Hey there. Hey, that's my beer. I know. Mine's back <laughs> in the house. He's going to cheers you with my beard. That's cool. Mrs. Elder Ooh, Pete. It's a little shaky. Liking it. Mmm. It is good stuff. As she should. So, got another one for him. Yeah. We'll fill him up. Elder P had to run off. Uh, so, I'm going to go ahead and divvy up this grain bag here and uh, get it into these containers. He'll probably buzz back in here in a minute. Um. So what I've got is, I've got a, uh, a scale, put the bucket on the scale and I tear it out so I know how much is in each bucket and then mark the lid. So this is a little, this is that scale I got from work, 125 pound capacity. So it holds about 18 pounds. For all your concrete colorant needs, consider Butterfield Color. <laughs> so, there you go. Up to the top, 18 pounds of grain. Good deal. So I'm going to get on the rest of these and uh, seal them up, mark them up what they are. So, good deal. Going to make some, uh, some nice stout with this stuff. And some other beers. Yeah. Nice smash beer. So. The other nice thing about these is they have, these are actually like the uh, factory seal. So you can't get into the bucket until you pull the ring. So we don't have to open these until we're ready. And then it's basically like a factory seal. So kind of tamper resistant, if you will. But even once they're, uh, once they're cracked, you can still reseal them up nice. So good deal. And Norfolk Hillbilly pricing. We got our first... Uh, six we got six of them um plus some other round buckets for free just thrown to us so that was pretty good stuff gotta gotta love having friends so we don't say it enough but thanks guys and uh we'll keep them rolling if you guys keep tuning in so yeah all right Thanks again. There goes the light totally. Love you, man. <laughs> <laughs> Love you, man. All right. Cheers, everybody. Cheers.